Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Hobbit Village. So the last episode we completely destroyed this forest because we're going to remake it. Made this nice little beautiful sloping hill. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And we still need to work on this side a little bit more. So I'm going to do that on camera so you can see the finer details that I did over here. And you can still see that there's a few little sections that need smoothing out every now and then. Like... If you do that, then you get this problem here where you got the straight line, which we don't like too much. So we're just going to stop flying so fast <laughs> and just bring them out a little bit more like that. It doesn't really matter if it goes like that. It's good to have those little sections where you see out here it's like quite thin and then gets thick and then goes to a nice, whereas that it's like thin, thick and then thin again. It's nice to get those little shapes every now and then. It makes it look a, a bit more random, a bit more natural. So I'm just going to set my speed to 1 so I can actually... I mean, wow, that is slow. I've been flying around on speed 5 for the last sort of 20 minutes on the server, and now I'm on speed 1, and wow. Okay, so let's see. We're going to start with the river. And we're just going to push a couple of blocks back here and there so we get to this sort of shape. Um, these sort of shapes sort of emerging so you can get these little flatter sections along here like that that's not too bad and like you know, really punch back this section here as well you want this to sort of feel quite smooth coming down to the riverside you see you can get these little um, what's the word I'm thinking estuary but these little sections anyway where it's quite low down to the water side. Um, if my voice sounds a bit like weird and I sound a bit um, monotone today, I'm sorry, but that lack of sleep didn't get much sleep last night. Um, but yeah, I still thought you know I need to record a video, need to get these videos out, and if I wasn't recording this video, I'd just be sort of doing nothing today, which sucks. So. Now I'm doing something. I'm gonna have to turn the shaders off again just because it it really bugs me like the glass and the sh shaders coming through there. It just makes it easier to see what I'm doing while I'm sort of doing this finesse section, I guess. Um, and I'm doing a lot of this by hand, and I did a lot of that side of the hill by hand, which is why I've done it all off camera because it doesn't make for very entertaining um, sort of footage to watch it happen and stuff so uh, sorry that if people were upset that they didn't get to see that but nobody wants to see that so it's fine maybe Lord Dacca wants to see that but you know screw him <laughs> it's, it's just if I did all of that by hand it would make about 12 episodes worth of footage yep that's how long it took me but what what we're doing, like the sort of basic techniques and ideas that we're going for, is you want to keep a nice sort of distance between each contour. And by contour, I mean height block change. Um, so you can see that we've got, you know, almost like a two block gap consistently. And we want to stay away from using the same distances too often. So we've got like a two, a two, a one two, a one, a two. I mean you could just put like a two, a two, a two, a two. And you can see that it's, we get this straight line form and it doesn't quite look as nice. So just mix it up a little bit, break things up like that. Um, I'm not too fussed about this. I'll probably just use a brush to go over that. But we'll, we'll do a bit more. Um, I'll probably do a bit of cutting with this video so that it's not just this for the whole episode. And we'll go over retouching the um, terrain down here. I think I'm going to completely get rid of the water and then redo the river to show you guys how I did that because um, I think that rivers need a bit more attention or at least on that, the server they do because I, th I feel that they could be done a lot better. So we're just going to bring that out so that we don't have all these straight lines. Yep, it's looking okay. It's fine. Um, bring that forwards and we can just put a block in there. You see now we've got, by doing this, by stretching it out, we can get these really elongated shapes. And like I've just had there, I had the uh, a 2, a 2 and a 2. 
but if you put that block it's two two three two three so it just makes it mixes everything up a little bit makes it a little bit more interesting like shape wise you know, we're not seeing the same recurring shapes over and over when you get to sections like this again you want to keep these nice contours as close as you can so I've got a, like a line of five so I just find a way to mix that up um, so we'll go for a couple blocks there one there and then let's see we can well I think we can leave it like that you know three isn't too bad because you've got a three there you've got a three there it's almost sort of following a pattern which you kind of want to stick to a, a, an almost a, a pattern if this makes sense I'm going to try find a space to explain it so you see here you've got almost like a ridge coming down so we've sort of stuck to that pattern but you can see like it starts off here then it goes to this side for a block then it comes back in a block then in another block and you can see that here as well not quite as clearly but you can see it here you've got this little diagonal goes up like that and we have another one here where it comes down and wiggles its way down and down again so there's like the type of patterns that I'm trying to follow I'm not going to worry about this side of the hill too much because we're going to turn that into the front of some hobbit holes in the next couple of episodes I think we're going to do that before we do the uh, forest because then we can find out if the hobbit holes need to be made taller to accommodate for ceilings and stuff so this is looking okay now uh, it's not perfect but you know it doesn't have to be on this side really it's going to be completely covered in trees it's going to be out of the way from most people's views only those who are going to like watch this video and those who um, go exploring to see how bad the terrain is and stuff like that so that's not too bad um, it just needs a, a few more sections sprucing up like this and I think I might fix a bit more off camera um, you know like that just to do a bit more smoothing out make it really really perfect before I move on to the next bit that's okay this is okay so up here again just these weird shapes you want to get rid of that's fine we can stretch this out a little bit like that and there like that there you go so you can see that this contour is following down there same again here you've got that line of three you want to just break it up a little bit like this that's fine maybe have a small little one going off in that direction so it almost hints that it's going over there that's a little bit of a weird one but you know cover that up get rid of that and a way to get rid of these diagonal shapes as well and you've got like a five there so just keep punching blocks back at <coughs> sorry just keep punching blocks back so you've got two two one two three and you can punch one there and it suddenly becomes two two and you've only got like a, well I suppose it is three but it's only like one actual diagonal there and it's come round and that looks quite nice just need to do this top contour now and you notice that they get a little bit easier the higher up you get as well because you know it's it's getting shorter and you sort of you know what pattern it is that you're following so you can see this pattern now it's coming down down there down here goes round and tails off at the end so that's the sort of basic shape that we're trying to follow and you can see as I spread out because there are uh, different thicknesses to each level and they get wider and they get thinner it makes it look about ten times more natural than it would have looked if I'd have just left it the way it was world edited earlier so I'm just going to stretch this out a little further so we can get a nice shape going here and we can do this maybe that's too much so we're going to do yeah that works and we just need to make this less straight and pointy I think if we do that that works cover these bits of dirt and just punch a couple of blocks back here as well put one in there yeah it's look not looking too bad that's looking pretty good I think I've said that quite a lot in this episode not looking too bad yeah okay so that's that's about that I might I might go over a few tiny little extra bits off camera 
Well, probably not. We'll worry about this side in the next episode when we start going through doing the faces for some of these hobbit holes. And by the faces, I just basically mean like the doors and maybe a window. Um, now, though, I'm going to go over the river. Like, I'll. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Let's try talking again. The reason I want to go over this again is because the pods all changed. The pods all used to be that weird yellowy one and it looked really nice underwater and I don't think it looks that nice anymore. So let's see, we're going to do replace near. Oh, I can't do that because it'll mess up water that I've got in the hobbit holes. So I'll just have to use a brush and it's going to be really awkward. A brush, sphere, zero, 56 apparently. 5, mask 8 and 9, and 8 and 9 is flowing and still water, because you will notice that it becomes flowing water when I do this, because, you know, that's the way water works. So we're just going to undo maybe a section of this and I'll do the rest off camera, just so you can sort of get the gist of what I'm going for. So I'm just going to undo all of this. Actually, no, yeah, we'll just use the power of cutting and editing. I'll be back when all the water's gone. Okay, so let's start with the source. Now, you want the source of the water to generally be a smaller section and generally up in the hill somewhere or up in a mountain. So, this is where I've got my source. It's only three blocks wide, uh, quite small for a river, although in Minecraft terms it can be quite big. Sometimes you get these nice little cliffs that overhang, sometimes you want a smoother edge like we've got here. That just all depends on where the river's cutting through the terrain. And then it's slowly going to get wider and wider and wider, which this river does. And now we just need to work on the actual riverbed, making that look a lot nicer. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab another brush. I'm going to do sphere. Um, well, I suppose we'll just give it a base coat of gravel. I suppose that'll make it stand out quite nicely. So we'll, I'll just do that, cover the whole thing in just gravel, and then I'll talk about mixing materials in a second, so I'll, be, I'll cut away and I'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, so we're back. So I've just covered this completely in gravel and we get to have a look at what it looks like underneath. And it's not great. I mean, you don't want it to be perfectly smooth underneath for rivers because you do want it to get a bit jaggedy. What we're going to be doing is sort of going over by hand and fixing up sections. What I mean by that is, you know, sections like here, for example, we can um, just add an extra layer of the gravel in and just like make the transitions a little smoother and a little nicer so what I'm going to be doing is finding sections like here for example where they've got big squares and finding sections like here as well where we can just add a bit of extra sort of build or not build what's the word a bit of extra well, don't even, don't, don't, not even sure what I'm trying to think of, but you know, just a little something extra, a few extra blocks here and there, just to give this river a bit of um, bit of character, give it a bit smoother shape around the edges. So we're just going to be doing that, finding sections where it's needed. Somewhere like this, for example, it's a nice cliff that's sort of coming, falling down into the uh, into the riverbed itself. So once we find out how high we want the river to be. We can actually do some work on that later, which is probably going to be in the next episode because I'm worried that we've only got about five minutes left of this episode. Um, so I'm just going to fly around in sections and just sort of show you these bits here where I'm just going to beef it out a little bit, um, these sections, and keep the, the contours like we were doing at the top, making sure there's those nice smooth contours in between all of the sections of the sediment, which is what the gravel's rep representing. It's representing the sediment that you get in rivers. And uh, you can use sand, a lot of people do use sand, and I think sand should only be used um, nearer uh, beaches and oceans and seas, all that kind of stuff, and used sort of sparingly. So, for example, say this was, instead of a little waterfall drop, say this was a big ocean. So you'd have lots of sand in the big ocean, and then you'd have a quite a bit here and then it would just slowly fade out maybe to about here 
and this would be like the last one block of sand and it just so it has a nice transition coming in that that's how it um using sand can work if you use it um in a transitional way like that it can ha work really nice and have a nice effect on the plot um but just using it sort of wherever and stuff it, you know it, it it's all about picking the materials and why why particularly that material why um what purpose it adds, the how it affects the atmosphere and stuff like that. And the atmosphere is all about how engrossed to the plot you become. If you suddenly notice something outside the plot, or something that doesn't even feel right, and it's just like, well, why is that there? If you start questioning the plot, that's all to do with atmosphere, so the atmosphere is completely gone. So we're just going to change a few of these blocks by hand. I'm just going to keep talking and changing over a few of these blocks, and I'll do the rest off camera before the next episode. The next episode will just be talking about the materials for this river that I'm going to be using, um, and you know, placing the water using the world edit command because this is quite a large river, so you're going to need to use the fixed water command if you don't know about that. And um, yeah, I think that I think that's it. That's all we need really need to go over, just sort of basic stuff like that. Um, this is going to look quite nice. I'm thinking. No, I'm not too sure if it's going to work or not. We're going to have to redirect this section here just to give this guy a bit more of a nicer garden. I think, unless you know, maybe it could be a fissure or something. That's another thing that I'm going to redo with these houses is give them sort of purpose. Um, that that was it. That was the idea I had. This is going to be a clay maker potter person <clears throat> so basically what we're going to have here is a little bit of an estuary because the river almost curves you can see how it's sort of curving round I might rework it maybe maybe not um, we can see that we've got this little again I want to say estuary but I don't think it's the right word um, where because of the curve and the the faster flowing water is going this way Think that's how it works. It's going around the outside. And it's flowing faster, so you get these little builds up, this little build up of sediment. And I think with that build up of sediment, you can get clay from there. So it feels like a little natural mining area for clay, and you can, you know, be a little potter, and you can have a market stall in the town or something. So yeah, I think that that might be a little nice idea as well. Uh, we've got our two little small hobbit holes that are going to be here. Don't know about this guy. Um, or about all the other people, but I'm going to try to add purpose so that each person has like their own little reason, like their own little hobby slash profession type thing going on, just to give a bit more purpose to this hill, because at the moment it's just houses, which you know in itself, in the style, is, I suppose it is purposeful, I have a nice tree up there as well. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe this person, like, you got some nice flowers going on, you've got some strawberries down here and some apples up here, so this could be, like, you know, fruit and veg guy. Might put some uh, potatoes and stuff like that around. I know that the farmer over there wouldn't be too happy with that. We really need to, need to redo that as well, we'll get onto that soon. Um, we're quite away from doing all that stuff, though. Um, the next episode, I'm going to be going over the base materials for rivers. Um, actually doing the water of the river shouldn't take too long I don't think I'm not expecting it to anyway um, so we're just, like you know building up these sections here I'm going to continue to do off camera now and then we can add um, once we've done that I think we're going to start on the forest oh no no sorry we're going to start on doing the front of these houses we're not actually going to do the houses then we're going to start on the forest making that section look great again and then we're just going to make our way through the plot when all of this section on this side of the river is up to standard that I'm at now, then we can move on to the rest of the plot. Maybe revisit our little bag end hobbit hole over there, which are in the earlier series. All this stuff was built before I had a YouTube channel, so yeah, you won't be able to find me building these, unfortunately. But that's it for this video, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one.